What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the RTX 3060 Ti. So I am in the market for a new graphics card. The graphics card I have is from like, I think almost four or five years ago. Uh, and that is the GTX 1080. Now this graphics card has served me well for a long time, especially with my content creation, video editing and all these things. And it makes, um, the process for creating videos so much easier, especially when it comes time to actually render and produce out the video. However, I realize that now my graphics card at GTX 1080 is a bit old now, and I'm in the market for something a little bit more powerful because I want to not only create some more videos, but I also want to get back into Blender so I, so I can create some 3D models and render those very quickly. And I think all that involves uh, a higher end PC overall. And I know that the best way to crank up the performance of your current PC is easier to expand the memory, also to increase your um, the power of your graphics card. So um, I was searching around for some things, especially now that it happens to be Black Friday. Didn't really get a smoking deal, but I was able to pick up this RTX 3060 Ti. Um, it's a used version, however, um, it's new to me. And uh, especially because, hmm. uh, yeah. I don't think I can get this. That's basically like almost a good 80% of the actual purchase price of my overall machine before. Um, so I don't want to really spend all that in a graphics card. But being that this was, I picked it up for 385 used, um, a brand new one would cost you around 425 on Amazon. Um, so this to me is a very smoking deal. Prior to actually uninstalling my GTX 1080, I want to compare the performance um, before and after and share that with you to see if actually this is going to make any amount of uh, significant significant improvements. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing of this. This is going to be the gaming version. I'm not really using it for gaming. It's more for video creation and uh, 3D modeling. Um, so it's an overclocked edition version and it's of course the 3060 uh, Ti, RTX 3060 Ti. Um, so yeah, that's kind of some things that um, it has there in a the box. So the RTX versions are for ray tracing uh, to improve shadowing and ray casting and all those things to make it faster. Um, so which will come in handy for 3D rendering and lighting and things. Um, but yeah, some additional information. So this is supposed to come with a metal back uh, backing so as to kind of dissipate heat better and as well as having three cooling fans to not only make it cooler, but also to keep it quieter while it's, while it's running. Um, with my current version uh, GPU right now, the GTX 1080, I never really hear the thing uh, to be too loud. When it's under serious stress, it might get a little loud, uh, but even after that, like it, it's quite quiet uh, in terms of the GPU noise. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this kind of fares as well. Again, the GTX 10, 80 super quiet so we'll see how this one fares so let's kind of see what's inside it's a gigabyte version here we are now i tried to open things without actually destroying the box entirely um, so i think i'm doing pretty good so far Ooh, look at this. Sweet. Unlike they said, it is a metal, metal back. Look at that. Look at that puppy. All right. Yeah, so this is where the connection is going to go in there. And, um, yeah. So it has, like, I believe, three display ports and one HDMI. If I can, I don't think I can get it to zoom up. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I'll pop those puppies out. This thing is practically brand new, really. 
even though I picked it up as used. Um, it's basically new. These are plastic fans. They seem very light. Lots of space for air to kind of pass through. And of course, I'm going to take the next two hours to read through the manual because, you know, I've got nothing better to do. But there's a little manual that comes there. Just file that away in a trash can. So that was pretty uh, uneventful unboxing. Now, the next thing is to basically just install this into my machine. So I'll get that going. But lovely, look at this. I wouldn't, it's not heavy at all. Like it's, I mean, yeah, it's just normal, I guess. I wouldn't say it's like super meaty. But if you kind of look through it there, you can see the brass uh, cooling to really keep it cool. I'm really interested to see what the benchmarking is gonna look like with this. All right, so now it's the time that actually matters. It is time to see if I should have stuck with my GTX 1080 and saved the money, or if it was actually worth it to have dropped the cash on this 3060 Ti. And how I'm gonna decide is by using this little uh, doohickey here. This is called the Superposition Benchmark. It is made by Unigen 2. Um, and so what I'm going to do is for each graphics card, I will run a benchmark using their settings of the 1080p extreme, followed by the 4K optimize, and then followed lastly by the 8K optimize. So for each one, I'm gonna note the score, and at the end, we're gonna compare to see if there's any marked improvement. And by marked, I'm really looking for something like over 21% and above to, uh, you know, basically, justify to myself this was worth doing in the first place. All right, so uh, here we go. All right, so now for the moment of truth, the results are in and uh, it's impressive. Um, so we have here on the left, the GTX 1080 on the right, RTX 3060 Ti. And so for the 1080, we have a 3600 score, whereas for the RTX, we have 6500. Um, I don't know what the number actually represents. It's just an overall score. Uh, but we can see here on the left side for the 1080, there's a minimum uh, minimum uh, frame rate of 21, whereas the maximum was 33. And that's basically doubled uh, for the RTX. So basically that's a 45% improvement. Uh, so on the, if I'm going to quote unquote play a game, on the 1920 by 1080. Clearly, I'm gonna have faster frame rates on the RTX. Now, what's interesting is that when we jump over to the, um, the 4K version, um, well, actually, it's not too interesting, I guess. It's, it's a marked improvement. Uh, the, like, I would expect that if you're gaming now at 4K, the frame rates would drop but actually it's a significant improvement in the frame rates where the max end, the, the maximum frame rate happened to be 78, whereas over by the RT, whereas for the GTX, it was, the maximum was 68. So it was quite a bump, I expected a drop, but hey, um, you take what you get. Um, so again, for, for the 4K optimized version, Join, going from the GTX 1080 over to the RTX 3060 Ti, that's an improvement of about 31%. Uh, so well above my bench, my expectations of 22% improvement overall. So money well spent so far. And then lastly, we jump over to the, the 8K Optimize. I wouldn't be working with 8K, 8K videos or even 4K videos for that matter. Um, you can only have so many pixels until like it just looks the same um, so <laughs> it's whatever but if I was crazy enough to game at 8k or edit videos in 4k seemingly there's going to be a, an improvement of about 
from my math there, 27% going from the GTX 1080 over to the RTX 3060 Ti. So that's pretty amazing. Um, so I'll take that any day. Um, so you can see here the maximum and minimum frame rates for all these kind of combined. So, uh, so for my question of was it actually worth it to drop the cash for this um, RTX 060, whereas to keep my current system of the GTX 1080, I would say absolutely it's worth it. Um, so the price difference between the two is like um, marginal, you know, it's just like maybe a good 10 to 15 percent in terms of what I paid for it, um, whereas I was able to extract maybe a, on average 30% improvement in performance. So I would certainly say that's worth it. And so with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Solos Code. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also think about subscribing. Until next time, happy gaming, happy video editing, happy whatever. See you next time.